Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Corvette M from our air collection. This is a medium sized tunnel design tent which is aimed to sleep up to four people. It's going to be ideal for anyone looking to do a little bit of weekend touring or things like that. So what we have um, is our Outex 5000 fly sheet on this tent. This is a really good quality uh, polyester material which has been PU coated on the inside and all of the seams have been fully taped and it has a hydrostatic head of 5,000 millimetres, ensuring that it is completely waterproof, even in really, really heavy rainfall. So you can be safe in the knowledge that you're going to be nice and dry inside the tent. We have some good ventilation panels on the sides here and at the back of the tent, and that just allows cool, fresh air in through this mesh uh, material here. If it gets a little bit chilly, we can get rid of that just simply by removing the Velcro tabs like this. We use our luminous guy lines all the way around the tent, so hopefully you're not going to trip over them quite as easily as you might do uh, when it's a little bit darker. These are all pre-attached, so that's a job that you don't need to worry about. It's already done for you the first time you come to use the tent. When it comes to packing the tent down, you'll find that we have these guy line retainers just here. So we can wrap the guy lines up and pop them in there so that the next time you come to use the tent, they're going to be easily accessible. We also supply you with our easy pegging system with this tent, which is where we have three different styles of peg within the bag. We have the solid steel anchor pegs here, uh, and these would be for the corners of the tent, and they would go in through the grey pegging points. We have the black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the side, and we have the luminous peg here to go with the luminous guy lines. So it makes it nice and easy to make sure that you get the right peg in the right place. What I'd like to do now is just talk you through uh, what I think is really the standout feature of this tent. We need to go around the other side. So with this tent being in our air collection, you'll find that in place of traditional steel or fiberglass poles, we're using a frame that's made up of inflatable tubes. There are three tubes to this tent and it's really quick and easy to pitch this tent because we simply plug in a pump into each individual beam and blow that beam up and you'll find, like I say, it'll be really, really quick to pitch a good sized tent like this. So we do supply the tent with the pump and it looks just like this here. So it is a double action uh, two way pump. So that means that when you pull the handle up and push the handle down, you are gonna be inflating the beams as you go. What we also have on top of the pump here is a pressure gauge so that you can keep an eye on the pressure of the tubes when you're inflating them so that you know exactly where you are. Now we would recommend uh, inflating these tubes from between 8.7 and 11.6 psi which represents 0.6 to 0.8 bar. Now what that actually means in real terms is basically you're putting a lot of air into these beams therefore the more air that's in here the more solid they are the more solid they are the more stable it is in fact we've tested this tent to withstand a force 9 on the Beaufort scale so again as I mentioned earlier you know that in heavy rainfall you're going to be dry inside but you can also and uh, be relaxed about the fact that this tent will stand up to bad weather conditions too. So before we move on, I just want to highlight the valves on the tubes here. You can quite clearly see that we have the air in valve and just tucked under there is where you'll find the valve that you would attach the pump in to blow this tube up. Underneath that, you'll then find that there's an air out valve, again, clearly marked on here. And underneath there's a release valve that we just need to twist and the air will come out of this beam. So one thing that is worth pointing out, I've already mentioned how quick and simple and easy it is to pitch, but actually at the end of your holiday, you don't really want to spend a huge amount of time taking your tent down before having to go home. So obviously with an air tent like this, it's going to be really quick and simple to do. So we just come around to the front because again, there's some really nice features on the front door that I want to talk you through. So what we actually have here is effectively a sort of stable door uh, style front to this tent. Now what I mean by that is there's actually four zippers on this door that allow you to have it in a whole different variety of ways. You can either have it obviously fully closed, you can have it fully open just by zipping continuing around here and you'll see that we have some toggles on either side uh, that you can just then toggle the door away. You then can also drop it down from the top so you can, like I say, sort of have it as a stable door sort of style um, and obviously as I mentioned there you can have it completely removed as well. One thing that's also worth pointing out, there are large windows on here and they do have curtains uh, tucked away behind them. So if you do want privacy while you're sitting in this area, you can close them up, no problem. But what you'll also find is there's a full mesh door. Actually, if I just open this up, you'll see behind here, we have a full mesh door. So again, you can zip the outside away to the side and leave the mesh door in place, giving great ventilation inside, but hopefully keeping out those unwanted bugs. And there's a zip all the way along the ground sheet as well 
that will zip onto that door. So as I mentioned, quite a few features on there. Stepping into the tent itself, certainly uh, a good amount of space in here, particularly head height. I'm quite tall, around 195, and you can see I've got lots and lots of height above me here. Uh, this area is of a good size as well if you want some chairs or tables or storage and things like that as well. Again, accentuated by these large windows that I've already mentioned. The curtains themselves, we have rolled away at the moment, but what we can do is just bring them either halfway up um, to the toggle points in the middle, or of course we can take them right up to the top and close it off. Up here is also where you'll see the mesh ventilation that we mentioned earlier on. Something else we have is a lantern hanging point in a central location at the front of the tent here. And then we have cable tidies that run all the way down this beam here, down to our side entrance, which is where you'll then find our cable entry point. So you can just see here, we can zip that open and bring the cables in through this, as opposed to running them in through the main door. Again, allowing you to keep the mesh ventilation door shut down on the side or the waterproof door down as well. So at the back is where the bedrooms are, and as I said earlier on, the tent sleeps up to four people. A nice feature here is that these bedrooms come pre-attached, so that's a job that you don't need to worry about. The first time you come to pitch the tent, they're already in place. How we uh, attach them is using our wave-shaped hanging point system. So if I just tighten this up, you'll see what that does. It actually just takes any stress off of any of the seams across the top of the bedroom, as well as giving it quite a nice look as well. We then have a uh, good uh, selection of mesh storage pockets down the front of the bedroom here, so it's great for smaller possessions. We then also have mesh ventilation doors on the front of the bedrooms too. Inside, there's more features as well. We have these handy storage pockets down to the side. And at the back, you'll find there's a large ventilation panel that corresponds to outside ventilation too. The bedrooms are separated using a full zipped sheet in between here. So about as much privacy as you're going to be able to get within a tent. But obviously, if you do want one large bedroom, that can be zipped open as well. What you will then find is there's a zip that runs down the middle of the bedrooms in here, and that utilizes our universal bedroom system. And we'll now just show you how that works. So just another couple of things to highlight to you. I did mention it earlier on, but just to show you that we have a full mesh door for the side entrance here as well, which is just rolled up at the moment. So again, use that for great ventilation within the tent. Also, I haven't highlighted the ground sheet yet. If I just pull this back, you'll see that we have a good quality double coated polyester material on the bottom here. Um, and that comes up to the sides as well. So it's bathtub in style. That's gonna stop any drafts from coming in. It's gonna keep out things like dirt, dust and sand and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. We also have a couple of uh, optional extras available for the tent that would uh, include a fleece carpet for the inside area here which you can see just giving you a bit of comfort underfoot and there's also a footprint available to go under the tent as well to protect your ground sheet in those wet and muddy days. So there you have it that's all the features of our Corvette M from our air collection. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>